Hi, and uh, welcome back to the third part in this uh, video series, I guess it would be called. Um, so in this, in this video series, if you missed the first few episodes, um, we are modeling this part here and replacing it with a uh, 3D printed part here. This is the part that we modeled in video one and then 3D printed in video two. And this part goes on to the exhaust for a uh, vacuum pump. And uh, the exhaust out that comes out of a vacuum pump is very oily. And this part here would hold the, uh, I guess, this thing here, which is basically, it's like a, a filter. And uh, it's in the bag because it gets all oily. And I've, I've cleaned the rest of this off, but, you know, I, I really don't want this... Uh, you know, kind of over here by my by my computer with all of its oily stuff. Um, so in the last video, uh, we modeled this, and I have uh, tried this, and unfortunately, both of our threads here and here, um, neither of them are the correct size. So in this video, I'd like to uh, go through and and fix that, and hopefully iterate one time on these uh, threads, and uh, potentially, I guess iterate more, but uh, one time is hopefully enough. So let's start off with the small thread here. So on the small thread, you probably can see it in the video, um, but I definitely measured the pitch wrong, and looking at it right here, it is, it is completely obvious to my eyes that these are two way different threads. So I've got my, uh, my calipers here, and we're going to uh, re-measure the uh, the pitch Let's see if we can uh, get a corrector pitch this time so I've got it lined up here and I'm measuring about a 1.5 um, so that seems about right that is a uh, 0.5 millimeters more than we had before so this is a a one millimeter pitch thread and this is probably closer to a 1.5 and coincidentally enough 1.5 is the pitch that we measured in this inner bit. Um, so 1.5 pitch here as opposed to 1, that is uh, the first change we'll make. And the second change is this is ever so slightly the wrong diameter. So this is 29.86, whereas this one over here on the left is 29.87. Um, I guess those are pretty close, probably because I was measuring the wrong sat part. Um, earlier when I measured this, it was, it was quite a bit more off, but it's possible I, I messed up measuring it. So the outside of this does look to be about the correct size. So it is possible that it was only the pitch that got messed up on that one. And then for the internal thread, um, I assumed that uh, the, I guess, pitch, or I guess the thread uh, let's see, it would be the minimum minor, or the thread minor diameter, um, which in this case would be the outside of the internal thread, is the same diameter as the inside bore of this feature. Um, and obviously, uh, looking at it now, um, that is not the case because I can feel, you know, a little step as we, uh, as we get up there. So we'll be fixing that in this video too. And if we measure the diameter of this bit here, we get approximately a 52.35. Um, and if we compare that to the diameter that we actually manufactured, we get a 49.5. So quite a bit different, quite a bit different. So going through fixing that, and then uh, also on review of the uh, the last video, I noticed that uh, FreeCAD really doesn't like this kind of Boolean operation being done like this. So I will uh, I will move to I guess a different method, um, and it, it evaluates this right, and it thinks that there's uh, some circular referencing going on here, which obviously is no good, even though there probably isn't any circular references. Um, unless I made a mistake. Um, it is possible. Um, so we're going to we're gonna move away from this and uh, probably do the Boolean combine over in, in uh, part at the end. 
um, to take this out of out of park design. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing we're going to do is going to uh, get rid of these booleans here. I'm just going to do that by deleting them, and that should uncombine. And we'll delete the second one here. And you notice that a whole bunch of the errors just disappeared. So we'll delete the second Boolean there, and it also uncombines just fine. And uh, this third Boolean, get rid of that one also. I guess that one didn't have the, uh, the same troubles that the other ones had. Um, so I'm going to hide that one. And uh, I'll actually just hide all of these bodies, and we'll just focus on this uh, base feature for a bit. Um, the Revolta is fine. I actually want to edit this sketch. And in this sketch, I want to uh, alter this dimension and this dimension here. Um, those are the two dimensions that are, I guess, critical for this application. So for this internal dimension, we're looking for a 29.5. It appears to be 29.8, maybe. It's difficult to know. There's not much thread left, but... Uh, We'll change it to 29.8 divided by 2. And let's see, that did not change it much. So it was probably just the uh, just the thread that was off there. And for this external um, thread, I will come over here and I'm going to measure the thread once again. And let us see. We've got a 52.25. So we'll come over here, 52.25 divided by 2. Okay, that got a little bit bigger, um, as one would expect. So do the, uh, the old clothes on that guy. And uh, we'll show this body. And for this one, I need to uh, come down here to this additive pipe sketch. We'll edit this. And... Let's see, oh, it looks like this one was uh, messed up from the beginning. Um, so we'll get rid of that. And uh, we'll bring in a few more of these points. I suppose I don't actually need the lines, I just need the point. Um, so I'll get rid of those and I'll replace it with just the point. Alrighty, and something here is uh, is not liking this. Oh, it appears to be this guy didn't get quite stuck in the right spot. So I will put him back and then this guy here also seems to get uh, disconnected. Alrighty. So now that we've got that there, um, if I hide my original body we should see a little bit of a flat face in there. That is looking good. And then this sketch 2, I know is referencing uh, sketch 001 up here, but if you didn't know that, you could come down here to sketch 2 and see that this is externally referencing binder. And binder here, you can come up here and see that this is referencing sketch 001 of body, which would be this one. So this is the sketch that we need to uh, edit. And this is the profile of our... Uh, profile of our thread and uh, we're going to modify this a bit and I'm actually going to hop over to uh, the thread table here and uh, I'm going to so before we did uh, this one here which is the 30 by 1 and uh, I believe the one that we actually should have done is this one here the 30 by 1.5 which is ever so slightly different um, but we'll go ahead and modify our sketch to match that. So first of all, our uh, I guess the bottom of our peak here. Actually, let's let's do that one last because that one's uh, I guess not very important. Um, this one, uh, not exactly sure what this one's measuring. Um, so we'll just put them off to the side. This one here is uh, measuring something important. So that would be. D3 over here on our on our diagram. So double click on this one and D3 is 
0.16, and that is the diameter, so we got to divide by 2. Looks like I typed that in the wrong window. And millimeters. Alrighty, so you see that shrunk way down, and then uh, we've got to modify this guy, and this guy is a, uh, a reference dimension, so you see D1 here is actually a big D, so this is the important dimension, but that's for this external thread, um, whereas we are we are modeling the other half. I guess this this would be the internal thread, and we are modeling the other half. Uh, I believe, yeah, so for a male D1, that would be a lowercase D1. Obviously, it's not here because I believe that D1 is for reference only. Um, but we will we will just pick halfway between capital D1 and lowercase D3, which I believe is, is what we picked before. So capital D1 is uh, 28.376. And uh, D3, lowercase d3, 28.16. And we need some parentheses. And then a uh, divide by 4. And then millimeters. Alrighty. And this should see our thread get about 50% larger. Uh, so let us see. And it looks like we actually need to add a few more threads into our uh, into our additive helix. So we'll go ahead and add a few more threads into that. Alrighty. And then uh, come down here to our pocket. We'll edit our pocket and uh, length. Let's see, I'm not quite sure what this pocket is uh, is doing. Um, seems like it's having some difficulties. So let's hide the pocket and let's go back to this additive sketch. Yep, and uh, if we go to the pocket, it does appear that it is, it is in fact having some difficulties. So uh, I'm going to just move this sketch plane ever so slightly um, in the X direction and kind of get it off this intersection. Um, so I'm going to go a plus like 0.1 millimeters in the X direction. We'll see if that helps us. Or maybe we uh, come over here and we go edit plane. Okay, and uh, let's see. I can't tell if this is doing anything. We uh, edit our plane here. Oops, that's not the plane. Come down here, and uh, let's see, edit plane. Um, let's see, yeah, so that is not a direction that matters. This must be in reference to the actual plane itself. This is the one that matters. So we'll do a point 0.1 here. Okay. And uh, we'll see if our pocket still having difficulties. Looks like it is in still having difficulties. Um, I'm thinking it might be because uh, our geometry is like self-intersecting. So I'm actually going to set this pocket this plane back to what it was before. So we'll do a zero and a, uh, we'll leave that at a point one because I recall we had some uh, some issues earlier um, a couple of videos ago. So let's edit this. Oops, looks like that's the wrong sketch once again. Looks like a sketch zero zero one is what we want. And uh, this guy here This uh, point 0.1 could probably be point 0.01, and we would be fine. Okay, 
and that got rid of our, our self intersections and it looks like that was uh, what was causing our, our issues here so we should be solved on that front you can see our 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 cuts are now a lot uh, a lot larger so i believe that one is doing good i'll bring back the uh, the main body here and we'll make sure that uh, our cuts are looking good so these are these are looking good and this kind of odd graphical glitch just comes from the fact that this is a a simplified representation of a circle as opposed to a circle itself so I don't think there's anything to worry about there, but I guess we will uh, we will see if there is anything to worry about later. So then on this uh, this body here for our sketch, let's see if we can edit our sketch, and it looks like we're going to need to uh, do a few modifications to this. Um, I guess most prominently here. Our uh, our dimension here is incorrect. So I believe before uh, let's see before we were looking at a uh, a 52 by 1.5. I think I'll probably move over to a 55.1.5 um, after seeing that the 52 is just you know way too small. Um, actually, I'll remove that. We'll see if we can try and fit this in the uh, and the headers on the same page. Alrighty, oops, it's not quite the right line. Alrighty, and uh, I believe let's see, the only thing here that we are looking for is distance up to. Uh, I guess the top of the tooth there. So the distance from the bottom up to the top of the tooth is uh, is this just D, the pitch. So should be pretty straightforward to find. Um, let's see if I can get my lines to line up there. That looks pretty good. So this is a 55 divided by 2. And uh, it looks like we, we did, in fact, break something. So let us see. What is it? Um, what appears our, uh, our binder here didn't update, um, probably, because uh, we ended up with a, oh, no, that is a green binder. Let's see if we rebuild this. Mark for recompute and rebuild. If that uh, if that moves, otherwise we can uh, come back here and uh, let's see. Support. Oh, this is uh, this is grabbing it off of a boolean, so this face doesn't actually exist anymore, and that's why it's not recomputing. What we actually want down here is uh, let's see. We're looking for is let me hide body. Um, we want this face, and this particular face is uh, face three of body revolution face three. So come down here, and I will uh, I will select the bound object. We want that one, and uh, now let's see if our our sketch, or I guess we'll look at the uh, the shape binder and see if that fixed it. Um, does not appear to have fixed it. So I'm going to let's see what am I going to do? I will delete the face binder. Um, that object is probably going to break, but that's okay. And uh, I'm going to toggle this as the active body. And uh, let's see if I can. set the tip to be nothing. It uh, looks like I can't set the tip to be nothing, but I should be able to uh, binder this and uh, move that under this body. And because this can come before that, 
we can uh, probably move object after other object and we want to move this after body 002 oops that is uh, not the right one let's move object to another body we want to move this after let's see after the beginning of the body and there we go and now at this point um, if I hide this body and I show the shape binder here um, let's see looks like my shape binder is not, uh, not showing up probably because my body here is hidden um, now our shape binder is showing up and it is in fact correct so we can edit this and uh, we just need to maneuver this back into the correct spot and let's see looks like this needs to be down a little bit and uh, we shall import the inside of this there we go and we'll make this and this one here vertical and let's see looking like it's having troubles um, with this 1.5 here so I'm just gonna delete that real fast um, it's probably not quite 1.5 and for this bit here I will drag this down and we'll just put a little bit of distance in between these two points vertical dimension of 0.1 millimeters and then for this second bit here um, let's see if we can drag it over looks like it's going to want to end up larger than 1.5 and we'll see if that's okay that's probably fine um, let's see does it have any other dimensions that we could use to uh, define that my guess is it in fact does not um, so yeah not seeing not seeing too much more um, so we'll just we'll just dimension this to uh, be about the same distance and a horizontal looks like it wants to be about 1.8 and that should be let's see I don't think that's actually okay um, so I believe we probably messed something up earlier uh, I'm not quite sure what we messed up but uh, let's go back through and we'll put the dimensions on again so for our female thread here the minor diameter B1 uh, let's see 55 minor diameter D1 of 53.376 obviously the minor diameter is this one here um, and that should have been dimensioned earlier um, when we did our revolve on the main body and then for a secondary um, major diameter which is the uh, the other half should be 55 yeah so I'm not quite sure uh, what's gone wrong there um, let's see let me go ahead and delete that and we'll uh, we'll actually just dimension the major and the minor diameter so we will do a shift V oops does not like that come back shift V and this here is the major diameter so this would be 55 divided by 2 millimeters and then the minor diameter here we will grab this point and come out here and shift V this and this minor diameter uh, let's see for a female thread is 
divided by 2 millimeters. And it looks like our, uh, our minor diameter there is, is way off in our original model. So that's probably our issue. Um, so let's come back and we'll go back over to this, uh, this revolution. We'll see if we can sort out what's gone wrong. Um, so this says our minor diameter, uh, which should be the distance that we can actually measure and we can verify this should be 53.376. So I'm going to switch back over to our uh, our camera here and uh, I can measure this. And we're getting a 51.5. So, you know, my guess is is maybe this is some like custom thread. Maybe it's not actually this uh, this thread profile that I think it is. Um so we're just going to, you know, go our go our own uh, our own way and uh we'll just be blazing uh i guess our new path so i'm gonna delete uh, i'm gonna delete both of these delete and delete i'm gonna bring this back down here and between here and here vertical uh point one I'm going to give this a horizontal of a 1.5. Uh, and then um, I believe I can probably actually uh, measure the major diameter in here if I, if I pull a fast one on it. Um, let's see if I can, I can get in there. Looks like the major diameter is about 54.9. Three. So I will dimension this. Let's see. Between here and uh, this guy, vertical dimension of fifty-four point nine three divided by two millimeters, and we'll see where that puts us. Um, that puts us a little bit over 1.5. So I'm actually going to get rid of this 1.5 because it's not uh, not quite true. And then I'm just going to give us a, uh, a thread pitch of 1.5. I'm going to put in a, uh, a few more points here. We'll make this and this and this all horizontal. And then between this point and that point, give it a horizontal of 1.5, and that should hopefully help out with this, although it does not look like it's uh, it's quite there. Um, it wants to be bigger than 1.5. Um, I'm not quite sure if that's uh, if that's kosher. It might be that they have like a uh, a more aggressive uh, thread angle. Um, let's see. We'll we'll do something. We'll uh, we'll make it fit. So I'm going to uh, just change this thread angle down to 55. I know 55 is a uh, another I guess common thread angle with I believe the British. I don't know, unified something or other thread. They use 55. So it's possible that this is a, a 55 thread. Um, it's also possible that this is, you know, some random thread that, that somebody made up so that nobody else can reproduce this product. Um, that's, you know, also a very distinct possibility. Um, so let's bring back our original body here and we'll see. It's looking, uh, it's looking good. And uh, let's see, come back down here. This, I guess, chamfer cut is also probably looking pretty good. Um, so I'm going to, uh, we'll call this complete here. And I'm going to actually switch over to part and in part. Uh, actually, well, let's let's try to do it with part design. We'll uh, we'll try to do these uh, booleans with part design, and if it 
if it's not working out, then we'll switch over to part. Um, so I'm going to select, let's see, Boolean 3. Oh, we'll do Boolean 1 and body first. Oops, I need an active body. So I'll, I'll change my body here, the one that's called body, to be an active body. And I'll do a Boolean on body 001. We'll see if this uh, gets mad at us again. Do a, oops, let's see, I don't think I selected the right one. We want a cut. Okay. We'll see if it, uh, it's able to recompute after this. And looks like it's uh, it's feeling better about that one. So now we'll do 002 and Boolean and cut. Once it pops up here. And my plan is to uh, to very quickly 3D print this new model out. And uh, I guess you will you will very quickly see whether these uh, these changes worked or whether they did not work. Um, and uh, I guess if, if they do work, then uh, then we'll call it a day. And uh, if they don't work, then uh, we'll continue to attempt to do this process. So it looks like it's this Boolean 001 that makes it angry. Um, but since we've come this far, I'll just go ahead and slap on the, uh, the cut for body 003 and uh, print this thing out. All righty, and a cut. Okay. And let's take a just a quick peek at the model. Um, it looks like we're doing pretty good. Nothing too crazy. Um, looks like everything is uh, is working there, and I'm gonna take a uh, a quick sneak peek at this here with the uh, the measure tool and make sure that it actually went through. Um, it looks like uh, we were getting some tomfoolery done on us because that in fact did not go through. So there's some issue with uh, Boolean zero zero one. We will uh, we will take a look at that after FreeCAD gets back to us with deleting that distance. Not quite sure why it had to uh, to recompile there or re recalculate everything. So I'm going to remove Boolean 001 from uh, from the model here, and we'll uh, take a look at it out of. Uh, oops, looks like out. Looks like that one was actually doing good. Um, it was this boolean that uh, that's not doing quite so good. So this one, um, let us see what is going on in here. Boolean, this additive pipe edit. Um, maybe we forgot to change this to a 1.5. That's probably why it was looking so funky. Um, and that is a pretty, uh, a pretty big distance. Not quite sure what's going on there. Um, it is possible that I messed something up. So let me hide this body because that is a, uh, not a very populated thread at all. So let me edit this sketch. Oh, and my guess is we, uh, we didn't change this at all. I guess is we fixed it and then we moved on and then we never came back to it again. So let's hop over to uh, to this one and let's see. So for a uh, up here a thirty point one five. Oops. That is uh, not quite the right highlighter. 30.15, try my best to highlight that. Um, we are looking for a few important 
dimensions. Um, I do recall taking a look at this, so maybe it's just uh, kind of this thing here is is a little bit uh, funky. I'll uh, I'll try to pull these dimensions off the actual model first, and we'll see if we can get any uh, any better answers from that. So I'm lining up my uh, my calipers with what appears to be the edge, and uh, let's shrink down on that guy. Probably are a bit wide, but it looks like a twenty. 9.5 is about the, uh, the depth of this thread. So let us see, let us see. Let's modify this and we'll see what it ends up at. So 29.5 divided by 2. And I'm actually going to subtract like another five millimeter or 0.5 millimeters off of this to compensate for some extra bits. It looks like it didn't like that. Um, let's see. I might, uh, I might go grab the dimensions off of the other thread that we had and, uh, see if there's any any difference. Um, obviously the other thread is a lot more uh, big even though they should be they should be about the same. They appear to be about the same size. So I'm going to uh, measure or I guess we'll we'll hop into the sketch over here for this one. Edit sketch we'll uh, we'll see so 55 degree angle uh, 1.5 millimeters across um, and nothing nothing super important for the rest of it let's see if I can add in a uh, like a reference dimension or something here here a vertical um, and it likes a 1.34 inch depth thread. And let's hop back over to here. Edit this one. Oops, that's not the right one. Too many, too many sketches going on. It gets very confusing. So let's change this to a 55, which I guess makes it thinner, which is not quite what we're trying to do. And uh, for the rest of these, let's see, let's see. I'll, uh, I'll get rid of a few of these guys. I guess most of them. And then I'll add in the uh, the old points again. Point there, point here. We'll do uh, those horizontal with this guy. And uh, these two points here are 1.5 inches apart, or 1.5 millimeters apart. And you see that's a, uh, a gigantic thread in comparison to what we had before. Um, so it's possible I did the old typo, um, but I'm not, I'm not sure. Well, I guess we will never know unless somebody actually watches the video. Um, I'm going to grab this point down here and this point up here vertical dimension of one point, I believe it was like a three, five or something. Um, not super important as long as we go down enough. And uh, we'll see this might run into troubles with our pocket. Um, yep, and it looks like it had troubles um, doing the pocket operation on this thing, probably because of the self intersecting nature of our, uh, of our sketch. And it looks like we did leave some stuff undefined. 
I'm not quite sure what that is. Let's see what it is. And one degree of freedom. Oh, it's this dot in the middle. That's not super important. Um, so we'll, we'll ignore that. And uh, let us see. So in order to stop it from running into itself, uh, I will come over here and I'll just draw this straight up. And that should stop it from running into itself. Alrighty, and I'll use the trim tool and we'll see if it, uh, if it deletes some of our constraints. Looks like uh, the constraints are, are disappearing by the hour. Um, and we will grab this dimension and that dimension. We'll put a vertical constraint on there. And let's see what else needs a constraint. So this thing, it gets wider, maybe. Oh, it rotates. We missed our, uh, our symmetry constraint. So we'll add the symmetry constraint back in here. Do, do. And this guy. And then symmetry on the bottom. And let's see, did that fix that? Or do we need to make a vertical? Nope, looks like that fixed that. And then uh, I shall add in a horizontal constraint here. Not that much, and it looks like we're good there. And this probably breaks that sketch further down the line, so we're going to have to go fix that guy. Delete this, and uh, grab my tool here. Grab some of these points. All right, and I'll grab the, uh, the multi-line tool. So I don't have to uh, keep picking new points or clicking on the tool again. Let's see there, here, and over here. And it looks like I missed with my first point. So we'll put them in the right spot. And uh, doing good there. Let's see, looking better, and it looks like our uh, our cut was able to succeed that time. Um, and I'll actually hide this binder down here, and uh, let's put our bodies back into this these cut operations. And cut. And it looks like uh, we got some issues with our cut operation. Um, it's possible, uh, let's see what is going on. Um, it might be because, hmm, not quite sure what's going on there. Not quite sure. Uh, we might come back over to our, uh, our original body See if we can make it a little bit uh, a little bit taller. So that would be a sketch zero zero one, and I'm gonna just delete this uh, this constraint in the middle, and this height here could be you know a bit more, maybe like one millimeter. Oops, one millimeter. Okay. We'll see if that uh, if that helps it. Seems like there's not much that uh, it should be mad at. It might be mad because uh, we applied this second boolean before the first boolean, and that is uh, no bueno. Um, so we'll go ahead and redo this bit and a cut. And it looks like it's uh, still having difficulties. Um, what is it having difficulties with? My guess is it's having issues with 
the geometry being right on top of each other. Um, so let's come back over to this revolution or this uh, let's see, body one, this additive helix. We will edit this. Oops, not that one. Always forgetting. And uh, let's see, we'll make this like 1.4. And something's gone bad. How about 1.45? Okay. And that should stop it from, uh, from touching itself. And uh, we should be able to combine this, hopefully, without any issues. Um, there are, of course, some issues. Oop, that is a fuse, though. So it, it is possible that cut works better. Um, does not seem to work better. Ooh, so many difficulties, so many difficulties. Let's see, let's see. What can we do? Um, I'm going to take the old additive pipe here and uh, let's see. I guess since we've got all of our bodies outside, um, we might as well just move over to part at this point. Um, and I'll grab body one here and body two and cut two shapes. And we'll see, my guess is that didn't change much, um, but it is possible that it's doing any, something different, but it doesn't appear to be, it appears to be identical. So let's see, an issue with our geometry, potentially, potentially. Um, let us see, let us see. Hmm. Quite a few things to uh, to think about. I'm going to come back over to uh, body and rebuild. Not sure why sketch one has issues. And let's see. I'm I'm just I'm just thinking if we come over to uh, this and we edit this to maybe be you know less big. If we make this like one millimeter, we make this one millimeter. Um, it doesn't like that. Negative values. Not quite sure what would end up as, uh, as negative if we did that. Um, so let's go ahead and take this and we'll delete it. And oh, I see. So that's what ends up negative. So we'll do this as like a 0.5. And uh, let's see, come over here, dimension uh, between this point and this point, and a horizontal of a 1.5 or maybe a 1. We'll see if that works any better, because then that's definitely not uh, got any self-intersecting weirdness. It's also possible it doesn't like this uh, basically crazy flat edge. Um, so that's another another thing that we can take a look at. Um, that does seem to be a, a, a higher possibility. Um, let's grab body one and do our Boolean cut. Let's move over to part design, body and body one and Boolean operation cut. Okay, so it looks like it had something to do with our 
aggressive uh, aggressive profile. Um, so I'm going to move over to this sketch and we'll see if we can give it a, a less aggressive profile. So I'm going to turn this back to 1.5 and then we'll put this at like a, a 1 maybe. Maybe like a, a 1.2. Okay. And uh, let's see if that works any better for us. And we're going to do the old Boolean. Boolean cut. And it's having difficulties again. Um, I'm thinking probably shouldn't make that 1.5, maybe 1.45. Okay. And this. And it's gotten all garbled again. That's the fuse. Still does not like that. So maybe a like a 1.3. We'll change this back to a, a 1. Not quite sure what exactly is causing it to have so many issues. Let us make this a little bit wider, 1.4. And maybe it's just the uh, the depth of the cut it's having troubles with. It might also be the uh, the corner here, right on that corner, is what it's having issues with. So many possibilities. Seems like it's just having loads of problems in general. Um, let's actually hide body two. We'll bring sketch one back. We'll see if we can just uh, extrude this ourselves. And let's see, horizontal sketch axis reversed. And a pitch of 1.5. Okay. Let's see, exact same problem. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, come in here and uh, we'll actually take this and make it like not quite vertical. So I believe 14 and 15 are the two constraints that hold this thing vertical. And we'll just move this up a little bit. So we'll do this one, this one, vertical constraint of one. Okay. And I'm, I'm thinking that that's probably going to help our issues. So we can uh, combine this cut. Okay. Yeah. So it turns out, it turns out that it was having issues, um, with this, uh, point here being exactly on that, uh, cuttings, I guess on this plane, um, that gets revolved around. So moving it up just a little bit fixes that. Um, let's see if we can go back to 1.5 because I would definitely like to go to 1.5 again. Um, and we'll see what is unconstrained. Looks like our vertical uh, dimension on the other side is unconstrained because I deleted the, uh, the horizontal constraint. So we'll put that one back in. The old horizontal. Alrighty, close that, and then uh, grab this body and do my cut. Uh, 
and uh, that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty aggressive thread, if I do say. Um, this thing here, not looking quite so aggressive. Um, so we'll click the OK on that, but we'll go back and uh, and modify that to be not quite so aggressive. Um, let us see, and I think the the aggressiveness of that is uh, controlled by this 55. And if we make that 60 again, um, let's see, it does not like this thing. So we'll make that 60 again. Um, should make it a little bit less aggressive. Then we'll put this back to like 1.2. Okay. Should be a, a drastically less aggressive thread. Um, let's see. And this is also uh, probably needs to be about half the size. Um, it's too it's too wide. Um, that's also probably why it seems so aggressive. So instead of 1.5 here, uh, let's see, we need probably 1.5 like divided by two. Um, and we will take this, make this 0.5 until, until we know what it's supposed to be. 1.5 divided by two, and we'll do like 0.6. Okay, and we'll see what that looks like. And let's see, that still looks uh, quite aggressive. Um, let's see, do we have our, I'm actually going to delete this Boolean um, so that we can make sure it's not, yeah, so it looks like it wasn't updating there. Um, so we'll put this back in, um, although this doesn't seem right either. Um, seems like it needs to be a bit wider. So let's edit this sketch and be like a, like a 1.2. And then we'll do like a 1 here. Maybe like a 0.9. Uh, let's see. Once again, it's uh, not updating. It's possible that uh, if we click the update button, it'll it'll move our updates down the chain. And looks like that was in fact the case. And this is looking like a much better thread, just kind of from the eyeball. Um, so we'll see if this is uh, if this is doing good. And then for the thread on the inside, I'll merge that one in here now. That one was looking good before, so I don't think we'll have uh, too many changes to that. And it does appear that either they're using some kind of funky custom thread, or uh, their threads are, I guess, quite deformed, um, because they don't seem to match very well against the uh, any of the threads that I was looking at, it's also possible that they're using some kind of other, uh, like thread spec that you know I wasn't I wasn't looking at. Um, but you know this looks it looks pretty pretty good. Um, it is a bit aggressive there on the peaks, but I think that's probably okay. That shouldn't cause us any any issues. Um, this guy, I'm actually going to hide these two sketches. And then uh, this body three will combine him in. Should take off a uh, little fillet around the outside of the front of this. That's looking uh, that's looking pretty pretty good. So I'm going to. Uh, export this and print it and uh, we'll see if it fits. I guess you'll see if it fits uh, pretty
pretty quickly here and I'll see if it fits in like a uh, few hours or so. And welcome back from that, uh, I guess, quick little break. Um, so here I have the Rev B version of the, I guess, broken part. And I did go ahead and uh, quickly try this external thread in the uh, the bigger machine that I, I can't foist over here. Um, and it did fit fine. So I am excited to see if uh, this internal thread here is uh, gonna fit okay. So I figured we'd uh, we'd start with doing that um, because if it doesn't, then uh, got a little bit more work to do. And let's see, it seems like it's going in uh, pretty good. It is a little, a little tight, but uh, I would call this good enough. And it looks like uh, we did bottom out there, so that is good. Our thread ended up deep enough. And it is a little bit extra difficult to get out, but nothing too hard. Um, so I, I would call this a, uh, a success. Um, we ended up, I think we ended up with a, like two very obscure threads um, that weren't in the, I guess, thread document that I was looking at. So it's possible that these are a different type of thread that I, I was not, uh, I was not looking at, I was only looking at kind of large metric threads. Um, so it's possible that these were some type of like, a, I guess, large pipe fitting thread, large metric pipe fitting thread, you know, something like that. But this is this is pretty good. Um, I assume they're metric because they do line up with the 1.5 pitch pretty well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, deploy this solution into my machine. And uh, I guess I'll let you know if I have any troubles with it. Uh, although a quick thing to note um, before we leave here is I am going to give this a, a few coats of uh, some type of spray paint in order to, uh, I guess, stop the oil from coming into direct contact with the resin because I've had issues with uh, not particularly oil, but other other things, you know, having interesting uh, interactions with resin and uh, causing issues. So quick coat of, uh, I'll probably use a product that's called the uh, Crystal Clear. It's basically just a, a clear spray paint. Um, I do believe it has lead in it. So if you're using that, be careful. Um, so I'm gonna leave it off here and uh, I hope you have a, a fantastic day.